Hello folks and welcome to Fun Tune Fridays and before we get into the main course which is a masterworks we need to do a little bit of trivia. For this question we're looking at pop groups relationship with the print media. So for this question well the following acts all had hit singles that share their names with famous magazines. To repeat, the following acts all had hit singles that share their names with which famous magazines? And I'll give you a list of four artists. So, the Style Council, Madonna, Lionel Richie, and Culture Club. Once more, the Style Council, Madonna, Lionel Richie, and Culture Club. Definitely a question to ponder, and while you're pondering, please don't use Google or anything like that. Just have a little think and I will tell you the answer or answers in this case at the end of the video. For now, let's get to the masterworks. In this Masterworks, we're looking at a relatively recent release. We're looking at a, what would you call it? Trip hop, I suppose, released by the UK label Ninja Tune by DJ Food. And the album is called Kaleidoscope. Now, back when I were a lad, as I say, it used to be called trip hop, this style of music I'm talking about. Now that changed because trip hop, even at the time, was, well, it appeared to be faintly embarrassing to the musicians themselves, who, I get the feeling, never really liked the term and tended to shift uneasily in their seats when the term was brought up in polite conversation. The term was later transformed to the simple word beats or something. But whatever fuzzy logic term was eventually used and labels arrived and departed with regularity, it seems, the music behind it was and remains to me, as I say these words, some of the most inventive, imaginative and sublime music ever to have tickled my eardrums. The most successful purveyors of this stream of goodliness has been DJ Food, a collaboration from the Ninja Tune stable of creators. DJ Food contains, or rather contained, the cold cut pairing of Matt Black and Jonathan Moore, but also initially added two extra brains, and essential those brains were as well. Those belonged to PC, or Patrick Carpenter, and a chap named Strictly Kev, or Kevin Folks. This foursome were useful to create distance between DJ Food and the Cold Cut Project. Now, I have never heard a bad beat from DJ Food, the music from DJ Food remains, as I say, sublime. It combines a suite of synth lines and bass beats, but also weaves in plenty of jazz and inserts delicious samples in and around the melange, like the sweet bits in a Raspberry Ripple ice cream. Initially, the DJ Food moniker was used by the Ninja Tune label to host a series of DJ-specific tools, or breaks. These breaks were actually titled Jazz Breaks, and they were released over five separate volumes. And very successful, and rather collectible, I might add, they were, and still are. In fact, they are listenable in their own right, even though they are tools. 
Over time, the core group of DJ Food became rather more elastic, with the cold cut pairing drifting away and concentrating more on just that. PC left completely at one point, and Strictly Kev relaunched DJ Food as a solo project. Then PC wandered back again, and then guests were added, and well, you can just see the fluidity of this project. The first album-length standalone project for the DJ Food moniker was A Recipe for Disaster, which was released in 1995, and a stunning album it was too. After that appeared this album, Kaleidoscope, a full five years later. Packed with jazz samples from the likes of Quincy Jones and jazz poet Ken Nordine, plus glorious rhythms and melodies, it collected a range of work during that five-year period into a resultant double album. It included that whole cut-and-paste ethic thing, the oft-termed scrapbook effect of disparate rhythms, samples, synth lines, and bass variations to form a sherry trifle of musical wonder. The album played fast and loose with tempo, varied the mood, from the humorous to the dramatic, and yet managed to tie the lot into a, a coherent whole without really hitting a brick wall or stalling into a juddering halt. This sometime stream of sonic consciousness managed to flow in an almost narrative fashion. Now, there is a new edition of Kaleidoscope on the shelves, and it's not a strict or a basic repress of the original, because the album has been expanded from two discs to four, and coloured vinyl to boot, and with lots of tweaking for good measure. All of these tracks on the companion disc were recorded around the time of the original Kaleidoscope. So this is Kaleidoscope with added value, giving you extra music, made at the time, but only now available. So as Kev confirms, and I quote, it's not a new DJ Food album, it's an old one that never was. In an alternate reality, it might have become Kaleidoscope, but now, 20 years on, it's a companion to the original album. In short, then you get the original album in this collection, plus you get a load of rarities, which is a roundabout way of saying that, even if you have the original edition, the reissue is well worth checking out. But before I say farewell, you will need some trivia answers. So let's look at that trivia question one more time. And the media-leaning question is this. The following acts all had hit singles that share their names with which famous magazines? The Style Council released a hit single called Parry Match the famous French magazine. Madonna? Well, she had a hit with Vogue. Remember that? Lionel Richie? Well, this is a bit of a cheeky one, but he did record a single called Hello. And finally, another slightly cheeky one, Culture Club had a hit single called Time. So now you know. And that's it for this particular Masterworks. Please, if you can, just below, if you can click on the like and subscribe buttons, which helps this channel to grow. Also check the description for links to enable you to navigate around this video. There are links to my Facebook group, my website, which has all kinds of stuff you will see there that you won't see here, and my Patreon page. If you can support me on Patreon, it helps this channel to keep going because Patreon funds this channel. I'll be back on Monday with something hi-fi flavoured. So, love to have your company, and if you can join me then, that'll be great. Well, until then, bye-bye for now.